It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. We are at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Green Bay Packers. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. No two NFL teams have played more often than the Bears and Packers, and we're underway from Lambeau. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. A six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Ready, ready. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down and four. Love from the gun. Short throw, he's got Kraft. Four yards, the pickup, first down. your secondary and that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout so after the incompletion on first now second and ten love gonna give this one to jones and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42 if you're a football guy that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there obviously the guy carrying the ball but how about the people up front leverage athleticism they created some nice space for him a four receiver set here, third and five. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. That is caught, and he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 43. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 43. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he's going to be met at about the 43. 
Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. From the 43, here's second and nine. Love looking to throw it. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. A good decision in the end. The pull up run gets him nine yards in a first. Love, they go play action now. six-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play-action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Love's throw finds its target, Dobbs. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. They need 12 here. It's third down. Here's Love. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Brings up fourth down, solid coverage by the Bears D. Haven't met a corner that's worth this all yet that ever admits to worrying about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. And his kick is right there, it's good. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. Pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well, so your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. So here now the Bears offense for their first drive of the game. They'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And boys, he got the full package. Loves the game, big time arm, 4-4 speed, so good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. And they'll begin by running the option. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. 
Here's the first carry for Khalil Herbert. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. To throw his fields. But from the left side taken in by Komet. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So roughing the passer call is accepted, and this officiating crew not making very many friends here with this crowd. Yeah, we all know that everyone accused the officials of kind of playing to the home team, but not in this case. They're just trying to administer the game the way it's supposed to be. That drew the flag. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Bears! Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney, and the Bears are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. fake. Here's Love. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Hard I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. But on that play, they held up quite well. Second and ten. On the delay, Jones gets past one man. And yet again. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with the draw play. They certainly did. Caught him a little over-eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he's got it to about the 40. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and eight. 
On the counter, here's Jones. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. They tried to run the counter, just that the defense wasn't fooled. And when they're not fooled, you see the end result. Because what you're doing there, you mentioned the counter. You're using your offensive linemen sometimes to pull or move, to influence the defensive front, to go in that direction and create the space back in the other side and block it appropriately. But you're exactly right. Didn't move him, sat there waiting for him and made the play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Back deep, Trent Taylor. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And maybe the wrong read there is he's going to go down immediately. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. Here's Fields. They'll set up the screen for Herbert. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and it convert on third down. Fields on first down. He'll get that complete to his tight end connect. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And they get him down right near the midfield stripe. Rashad Gary, the man to bring him down. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and five. Fields going to keep it running right. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Now motion left with Mooney. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Back 
for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they'll start with a first and 10 at their own 20. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. to pass. Here's Jordan Love. That's complete to Wicks. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Love now. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Here's second and ten. To the air again, Love. That's complete to Dobbs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. And inside give to Jones. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Second down, long. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Working out of the gun, Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Now Love will try with his legs. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. To throw now, here's Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. 
A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now a first down carry by Jones. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. Here now, second and four. Now Love. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 17-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing. Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. On second down, it's Jones. And here he'll get it down to the seven and give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Love looking to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. So another third down conversion. And now they've got a first and goal. Jones. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Jones again. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball a third time, but it's going to be difficult for him to win that battle. Love, this is third and goal. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Packers have regained the lead. So a passing touchdown on third and goal from the one. You like the play call? I like any call that ends up as a touchdown. I guess of course, that's, that's a really good call. But in this case, I liked it a lot because maybe they just didn't feel confident in running the football in that situation. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. there now to send this one away and the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone and now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field
Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start with the option. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. On second down, here's Foreman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Completes it left side to the tight end, Lewis. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to make it fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. Now here's Trent and Gill on to punt. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. First down, going to the air with Love. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. That's interference. Defense. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Love. That's taken in by Kraft. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. 23 yards on the play. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Love. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So now third and 10. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Going back to Love. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. And his kick is indeed good, and the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. 
So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or in this case, a field goal. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Chicago offense set to get started. First down, it's Fields. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemia St. Brown. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. Fields on first down. From left side taken in by Komet. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Now a first down throw. Fields. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Back to throw, Fields. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt, just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through. Following the main field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Love now. That's complete to Dobbs. 
long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Up the middle, Jones. Unable to corral him, he fights through. Still on his feet. Inside the 10, and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Carlson on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, it was the veteran Aaron Jones who had it going. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out and continue to throw the ball effectively. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. A give to Foreman now on the option. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 40 yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Foreman will try to pick it up. 
And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Again, it's Foreman. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. On second down, a run with Herbert. Gets by him at the 25. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Play action. It's Fields. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back in the 32. Rashawn Gary from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Foreman powering ahead. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. <laughs> Throwing on third down, Fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. So he stopped for no gain. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Santos' kick is up and through. Tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when I left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. Going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. Stopped at the 24 yard line after a gain of five. Second and five. Again, it's Jones. And he's got Rome down the right sideline. And finally down at the 32-yard line. A big run there by Jones. 45 yards. So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like them. And how about the confidence 
being exhibited by that offense now. They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fella to carry the football and carry it often. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. To pass, here's Jordan Love. He'll complete this one to Watson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Love going to give this one to Jones. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Now they'll toss to Jones running left. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers go up by two touchdowns. Nice execution there. Good job by the O-line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there when you're having a big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability to see the proper holes, pick the proper place to go, and find his way into the end zone? Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead now up to 14. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They'll start the drive with a give to Foreman. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. Now Fields. Throw here's incomplete. Just what they need, Electra from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw his fields. Flush to his right. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to kick it away. Oh, the return is Reed. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. 
Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. Toby looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, They've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. On first and ten, Love. The left side completion to Jones. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. Throwing, Love. And this one too low. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Romeo Dobbs is intended receiver, and it's third down. Again, it's Love. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On the counter, here's Jones. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. Love looking to throw it. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that'll be caught in St. Brown. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 yards, the final tally. give to Foreman and he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards second down 
Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this you're watching the nfl on ea sports meanwhile fields throw complete here to commit it'll go as a gain of four and that's going to bring up a third down you got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now it's Fields. That is caught by Herbert. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that'll bring up fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners <laughs> kind of know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. Let's see if he can do it. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 202 yards rushing for him now on the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down and eight. They'll go again to Jones. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. The Packers on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and four. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Now Love. Able to find his man, Kraft. And that's good for a gain of six at its second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They go back to the ground with Jones. 
Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. The Chicago offense set to get started. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete to Mooney. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, here's Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. And he's going to go down again. Preston Smith able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They snap it to Fields. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it. It well, didn't work out. Had, they must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. And they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. So now, just like that, things change dramatically. It's first and goal. Here's Love to the end zone, but it's incomplete. And they get the guard, John Runyon. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Love from the gun, throwing left side, and Watson has it. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal.
to throw now. Here's Love. Steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. He's known for his legs and his fancy footwork, but he's not getting much of a chance to use it here. The defense continued to hold the upper hand by bringing him down on that play. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. So now after the penalty, they'll try again here on third and goal. On play action, love to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. So off goes Love. On is Carlson for the Packer field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. Running room at the 50, look out. And finally stopped, but what a return all the way down to the 40. Even after that big time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, they can turn to this play and say, hey, we can move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Fields on first down. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Fields now to throw. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing on third down, Fields. first himself but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short decent gain on the scramble to six but now it's fourth that looked great when he first took off because in my mind there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight but i certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he they got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call and he'll be taken down but he does have first down yardage but no reason not to try it there. They do indeed convert on fourth. On first and ten, here's Fields. 
That's going to be caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this... And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields taking it in from a yard out. And the Bears have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled, and wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to keep the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. That's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn, can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. Second and six. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run again. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. A give to Jones. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Oh, 
So here now is Anders Carlson in a really big spot. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And the lead will hold at 10. And no mistaking that sound. It reverberated through the whole stadium. And it's the sound, Brandon, no kicker wants to hear. It looked like he had it on target the whole way, but the upright said, uh-uh. So now Fields and the Bears down by 10. A little over 20 seconds to go. It's a tall order, but they do begin with decent field position on first down. Back to throw, Fields. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Rashawn Gary in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared, but executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.